This is Eric from Axis with another quick tip. Today I'm going to create an internal throttle sleeve with an angular slot rotated at 180 degrees. I'll start this project by setting up the stock. I'll add a program number. I'll check assigned tool number sequentially and warn of duplicate tool numbers. Then I'll check my plane, select cylinder, then select all entities to choose my geometry. I will deselect display. Next, I open my Levels Manager and activate Level 110. This level has the wireframe I plan on using to create my slot. The cutter path I plan on using is the contour. I'll pick my geometry, select a tool from my Mill Edge Tool Library. I'll set my speeds and feeds. I'll also set my plunge rate and rapid retry. I'll open my parameters page and set my comp to wear. I also like to leave stock on walls and floors. I'll activate depth cuts and add a rough step of 25 thousandths, one finish pass at 5 thousandths. And I'll also select Keep Tool Down. My next stop is Lead In, Lead Out. I'm going to deactivate this as I'm starting off the side of the part. In my linking parameters, I'll select my Depth button, then my Part at Depth. Then I'll go back and select Top of Stock, and then my Part at the Top. I'll click the green check and then Calculate. To rotate this path, I open Toolpath Transform and select Rotate. I plan on copying the source operation, and then go on to the Rotate tab. I'm going to make one instance at 180 degrees. I'm going to rotate it about the right plane. I'm going to select the green check and calculate. I now have two paths rotated 180 degrees about the right plane. That's all there is to it.